Hey there, YouTubers. Well, I've been researching on uh, why my smartphone won't work with the DJI Fly app or DJI Go. Yeah, DJI Fly app. Well, it comes down to this. I, I looked over every every you know phone capability I could. It seemed to be able to handle everything. Um, I have my processor is a um, has an ARM capability, a 64-bit ARM capability. And so I figured that's not it. And I'm pouring through everything else, and I just couldn't see a reason. But it comes down to this. ARM is a type of a... It means basically advanced risk machine. It's a, a type of like software architecture or hardware architecture, if you will, for a CPU. Risk being reduced instruction set computing. Um, with a risk processor, it only ha does one thing at a time. So it makes it faster and it makes it lower power consumption. And that's a good thing for cell phones. So ARM type processors are very common in smartphones. Well, I have an ARM processor in my Samsung Galaxy Peer. Uh, you know, mid to low end Galaxy, you might say. And it has a, a, 60, a 64 bit capability. Um, the problem is, it's just not turned on by my cell provider. And so it won't work with DJI Go app or DJI Fly app. Uh, the DJI Fly app for the Mavic Mini, the newest one, requires a 64 bit processor system, you know, legs. Um, all the other drones, more expensive, better, all the ones that go under the DJI Go app, they all accept a 32-bit app, and thus a broader range of phones, almost any decent, you know, modern smartphone over Android version 6, will be able to control these very expensive drones. Oddly enough, their cheapest drone, the Mavic Mini, requires the most expensive phone to control it. It just doesn't make sense. It's they want to reach a broader a broader audience by selling this drone, but they made it a narrower audience by making it only people who could who had or wanted to or could afford an upper end smartphone. So yeah, once again, ARM itself in a processor does not necessarily mean it is 64 bit. Um if you have ARM version 7 or below, that's 32-bit. If you've got ARM version 8, it's 64-bit. But if you look up your processor in your smartphone and it says ARM version 8, it still doesn't mean the smartphone Android is running at 64-bit. It could be limited to 32-bit just by your service provider because they want to sell you a nicer phone and an upgrade when all your electronics don't work. So there it is. Uh, you've got a couple options. You can either buy a new phone, like I'm waiting to do. Um, you can return your Mavic Mini and take the money that that Mavic Mini would have cost, plus the 500 bucks for your phone, and buy. You can almost buy a Mavic Pro, and uh, your old phone will fly that one. And uh, so you know that's an option. DJI officially has said there are no plans. To up to make this uh, DJI app compatible with 32-bit machines, they just want to future-proof it. They're going to keep it, and I presume at some point they're going to quickly roll everything over, maybe to that Fly app, and make everybody have to have 64-bit. Um, gosh, it just doesn't seem like really good customer choice, uh, service choices. But uh, who cares? I guess when you got the only ice cream in town, or one of the main flavors in you know 30 of the 32 fla one flavors in town then i guess you can do nonsense like that but that's the story um if you look up uh on the internet dji fly um android capabilities there's a nice article about it and uh there it is in a nutshell i hope this helps and see you up there in the skies whenever we get our smartphones or a 64-bit processor bye now GoPro, stop recording.